What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Powered by Primus and in today's video we're going to be opening some Digimon boxes from BT4 Great Legends. Now I had an awesome Patreon who hit me up and said, Jamie, I'm not done opening Digimon packs and you haven't done any yet, so at least on the channel. So we are going to be diving into it today to see what we get. Now there's a few things that we are looking to hit, which is super, super nice. I mean, honestly, anything really good is obviously good. But this is a very good set. I think there's a lot of really playable stuff. And there's a couple of decks that I want to play that revolve around a couple of cards from this set that I don't have yet. So we are going to jump in and see how lucky that we get. Alrighty. The box topper for that Izzy. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I do like that Izzy. Alright. We're just going to start off. We're going to kind of put those right there just for everybody. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Opening packs are always super fun. I hope you guys enjoy them. I know we used to really like them when we did do uh, Transformers and stuff, so I really hope that you guys do enjoy them with this. Maybe we zoom in a tiny bit to see how well we do here with some of these things. I always kind of look at the back just to see if I get that like full art shine, and then now I know I'm just gonna get two rares, which is fine. There's a lot in the box. Don't worry, we'll get there. Alrighty. Um, kind of digging through. I don't really know as far as what you guys want to see for stuff like this um, as far as the commons and uncommons. So if you guys want me to go through them in the future because we do have a new set coming out and I will be getting a couple cases of it. So if there's something specific that you guys want to see as far as how we dig through them, let me know as far as common and uncommon. First rare coming in here is going to be Thomas. This one's pretty good. I do like this one. And then the War Growlmon. Now this one's obviously getting a lot of play in a couple of different decks, but this thing is a super spicy. Really good one. We'll kind of just put the rares up there and everything else over here. I also do have to sort at some point in my life, which is going to not be that fun. We are going to zoom out just a tiny bit. There we go. Because I have a lot of cards that aren't sorted. It's, uh, yeah. Got a lot of product in at one time and then it was like trying to like dig through it and it was all kind of crazy. Oh, see, you guys see that? You guys see that? You see that little shine? Yeah. Tell me, no, there's some in the back. We're going to send Valder Arm. It looks like it's got that kind of hollow to it, but we're going to see here. Uh, there's also a lot of like commons and uncommons like this one right here. This is one that I'm trying to get for an ancient Grumon deck, which I'm hoping that we can pull out of some of these boxes. Um, I do have two, obviously looking for four, and he's a pretty spicy guy and a pretty expensive guy online. So we're hoping we can get him pulled from here. This is a really good one. We're going to kind of just move back and forth here. A little egg. Ooh, a chaos mon. Uh, absolutely love this card. This card is absolutely insane. Anyone who plays black and or green where they're throwing this in there knows how good this card is. Um, I did pretty well in a tournament last night um, and got a couple of wins just off of this card alone. Being able to hit those uh, Digimon, your opponent's kind of trying to like hold back until they're ready. Super, super nice card. Ooh, all right, a Gogmamon. I'll tell you what though, I also suck at a lot of these names, so if I do mispronounce something, I'm really sorry. But yeah, coming in there for our first SR. This guy is super good, really do enjoy him. Kevin's got a really good uh, black deck that you guys are gonna see on camera here soon um, that does uh, play that guy and you can get some really big and um, solid hits from it. We're just gonna kind of stack everything like that. We'll go through the rares again at the end, but look at that soup rare. I'm also curious in this game, because everyone has a lot of superstitions about like, you know, opening boxes and packs, and it's like the left side's where all the good stuff is, no the right side. So I'm really curious uh, if you guys have any uh, superstitions when it comes to opening your boxes. Oh, that looked like an alt art, folks. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, man, if that's loose, Mon, we are going to freak. We're going to freak. Just letting you guys know. We're gonna go through this pack really slow because I don't want the alt art for Loose Mon. I want the original art, but it does go over the boundaries there. Look, Devi Mon, I like that one. That's a pretty good one. Oh, the build up. Oh. All right, so this card's really good. We're gonna talk about this Jack Raid real quick. Um, a couple of buddies, Jacob and Sam, who are running it in a list, and I absolutely love this card. I haven't played purple yet. Um, I'm definitely interested in exploring it, but this card being like a late game um, hammer spark or even possibly better if you do have 20 in your trash being able to get two memory from it uh, is really, really cool. So I think we are going to eventually explore something just because this card really did get me super excited and uh, played extremely well uh, last night. So this guy's super awesome being able to put him onto tamers and be able to just rush burn your opponent down. 
Got our little eggy. We got a tie. Woo, here we go. Oh, even, well, that's okay. Correction, not better than a loose mon, but exactly what we were wanting to get. Oh man, it just does not want to focus. Hey, hey, once you focus up, there we go. Terrible. We wanted that Guru Mon. Look at that. And that art is super pretty too. The secret um, art, the other, the alt art, is really pretty, which is the one that I have. But oh man, getting our first secret rare. Woohoo on camera for this game. And that just looks so, so gorgeous. Oh, mm, we wanted one of those. We wanted one of those. Hard. The foiling in this game is also something that I really, really love. Um, Ty, you go there. Um, yeah, the foiling is something I really love in this game as well. Um, not a lot of places or card games do like a really cool foiling. And obviously because these are going to be um, from a Japanese game, they have a really cool design for them. They've been at it for a long time. And they do have a really cool foiling to it. So I do really, really enjoy it. There's quite a bit of really good uh, commons and uncommons in this set as well that are getting a lot of play. Again, another one of those guys you get to just drop onto. Um, this one, absolutely love this, uh, the, new, the Anubis Mon. Um, super cool, love this, uh, this Digimon. We got a Marcus coming in here, really good if you're trying to run a Shine Greymon for red, yellow, or even just go for like a Greymon type of thing. Obviously getting that extra memory is super nice, and then he has a memory tamer, which is cool, and whoosh. All right, I'm not gonna try pronouncing that name, but that's the Digi Burst um, 3 1, and then I believe uh, that you just give something minus 4,000 till end of turn. Uh, all of your opponents' Digimon, minus 4,000 till end of turn. So, pretty good card. Um, depending on what you're building, obviously. I'm gonna try to separate these out. Oh, we got a Guru Mon. I was excited to think that was a Loose Mon, but hey, you know, came out really nice. Uh, little one. Falcon, hey, there's another one of those. Another Devimon. Now this one's pretty interesting. This is a card that I really want to talk about because there's a few blue lists that are starting to shift over to it. Because it is a level three that is one to Digivolve, but also a level, it's a three to just hard play it. So it is really low on the DP scale, but three to be able to hard play a level four is really nice. Um, I haven't looked to see if there's one in every color yet, but I know that I've recently discovered this one and I've seen people playing it a lot. So it's a pretty good card to be able to like ramp up if you are happen to break on some of your rookies and stuff of the other things, so. All right, a little Budmon. We got a Trident Revolver and an Aldemon. Now these are interesting um, because like, I don't know, like it's weird seeing like a lot of like full art, you know, super rares that come off the board and then you get these ones that have like the, like the hardcore silver border. I find myself just thinking that they're like alt art or promos. So it's quite, uh, quite interesting. But this one has got that security attack plus one, which is a super nice. And then while this Digimon Digivolves cards include a Digimon with a hybrid in its form or a red tamer, it gets plus 4,000 DP. Now there is a little thing that's kind of like built into this set that I've noticed between Ancient Garurumon and Ancient Greymon, I believe, uh, where they have these other ones that allow you to put onto tamers and kind of build up and they get these big swings with the, um, Ancient Guru Ramon or the Ancient Greymon. So I will be exploring both of them. You guys know on the channel that I like to play like every kind of deck that I can until I really start to refine and find versions of decks that I really like. And then I'll kind of, you know, stick to those and play them pretty well. But I do like to uh, play quite a variety of stuff. I may have to turn on my light too. Yeah, it does look like it's pretty good, but maybe for the next box we'll have to put on the light. All right, another Anubis Mon, really nice. And then this Baboonga Mon. So interesting name, let me tell you what. All right, we got this uh, Chimeramon. These ones are pretty interesting, these on plays for these big boys. Um, they This one returns one of your other Digimon to its owner's hand and then return one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digi Evolution cards um, to its owner's hand. So it is pretty nice. Um, did I read that right? With no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's really nice to be able to get like a blocker if your opponent like hard plays blockers or like maybe even like rookie rush where they have a bunch of rookies that they're just kind of throwing down. You get to, you know, bring one of yours back, especially if it has on playability like a Gabumon or something like that. It is nice to bring back um, and put that down. And then Trident Revolver is probably one of my favorite option cards, especially from this set. Um, being able to blow something up for 6,000 DP as well as play a, tra uh, a tamer. Uh, sorry, I call them trainers still, like Pokemon, it's weird. But play a tamer is pretty nice um, without paying its memory cost. So it's really nice to throw Marcus in or any of those other, you know, tamers. 
on top of getting some more board control, which is really cool. Okay, little shit, nothing, all right. So this Neo Devimon, a pretty good one. Um, when an opponent plays a Tamer, you get to gain three memory. Now that one is a really good card that I've seen a lot of people playing, far less, I guess, lately, but there is obviously a lot of Tamers that run around because there's no Tamer removal yet. I believe the next set um, has something that like taps down all Tamers and they just stay tapped. Um, and maybe there's removal in the next set, but it is a really good card because it does really help shut down your opponent when they are trying to do a bunch of stuff. Um, and especially like if they're playing it, you know, hard playing them or whatever else, it's real nice being able to stop those memories. Only if sideboarding was a thing, it would become so much of a better card. Um, I haven't decided yet if I like no sideboarding yet in this game. Um, the one thing that I will admit, ooh, is I love Chaos Mon. I do admit that. And then a Dark Roar, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, also, but the Mulligans, that is a little weird. Um, I probably will do this in like a uh, video where I talk all about the card game and my thoughts on it and stuff. But next one coming in here is going to be a Dark Roar. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon and play that costs three or less for each Digimon with D Brigade in their name. So there's a little title that'll show up down here um, that does say the D Brigade. You get to increase its cost by one. So the cost is always going to be this number up here for Digimon. So we'll just go ahead and grab this guy. His cost would be uh, 10. So then if you wanted to be able to blow this guy up, you'd have to be able to play this, which hits a level three or less and then have seven D brigades in play. Now, obviously that guy is a big stretch when it comes to a conversation about it, but it's usually to hit like blockers, some of the littler guys and some of that other stuff. So my battery is flickering at me, so we may have to have a cut, but and, oh, nope. Just a fancy rare again. By the way, this dude, I've been playing him in a couple of green versions now. You guys will see one on camera probably next week or a couple of weeks. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have a cycle lined up, obviously. But being able to pay two for a level three, fine. Two to Digivolve, which is usually where I'm not doing it. Um, sometimes it'll be a Digivolve if I need the draw power, um, you know, the card advantage, but to hard play. But 5,000 DP for two. It's insane. I'm playing that thing in a lot of my different... Um, Green decks just because it's super, super nice. Got a green, blue Ricky Rush that you guys are gonna see. Another tie coming in here, and then a Mach Gaugamon. This one's pretty fun. I got a, a Digiburst uh, 2 on here. Return one of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon to the owner's hand and then trash all the DG Evolution cards underneath it. So this one can hit something that is evolved onto a level four. Pretty good stuff. Really nice again to hit those blockers. Or if your opponent just has like a weird level four that's sitting around kind of poking at you. Hey, look, another fish. Like the fish. Oh, did you guys see that? Don't go back and look at it. But look at that. You guys see that? Oh. I'm telling you, it's my favorite part. All right, Tank Dramon, which by the way is going to be one of those D Brigades. Really good. Um, man, my camera just does not want to focus today. There we go. It's a pretty good one. I like this one a lot. Aqua Viper is a good card. Um, this one I got recently, uh, I would say, beaten up by. But return one of your Digimon to its owner's hand or return up to two of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon to their owner's hands. So this was a really good one, um, especially in those situations when you are running, uh, I guess, fewer people. It's really nice to be able to like, get that board control back against some Rookie Rush stuff. But, I mean, it was a good card, and it kind of hit me pretty good. Another Devimon, a uh, Blimpmon, a Bakemon which looks baked, by the way. I mean, just completely stoned. Tactical Retreat. Uh, Seals Dramon, which is my favorite blocker um, from the D Brigade stuff. So if you are running like D Brigade things, this is a really good one that I like to have. A Shine Greymon, really good. Shine Greymon, your turn. One of your Red Tamers uh, is suspended, so tapped. Then you get this Digimon gets plus security one attack. So you can do like three or four Marcuses. You can swing, get, you know, three or four of that memory back because this is a Greymon. And then on top of that, having security plus four. So this guy can bang out of nowhere. You guys did see a video on the channel recently. And if you didn't, go watch that video where my opponent, Jacob, was running a Shine Greymon. Pretty fun matchup. Ugh. And then a Rise Greymon coming in here. This is one that I'm playing on a few different decks just because it is a ridiculously good card for some of the things that it does. So it is, uh, it can be put onto a red or a yellow Digimon, which is why I'm running it in a couple of different decks um, that obviously are going to be going around Shine Greymon or, and I am running it, I believe, in one of my uh, War Greymon lists as a one of. 
Um, and then it does say Digiburst 2. You may play a red or yellow Tamer card without paying its cost for less. Uh, and then you do get the on play ability, which is really nice. And then on top of that, it has the inheritable when attacking. If you have a Tamer in play, it can be red or yellow, purple, whatever color you want. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2,000 for the turn. So I put this under my War Greymon. If you do have a Tamer out and you swing, War Greymon goes to proc. Um, <coughs> he gets the minus 6,000 plus this one. So it's minus 8,000 to a Digimon, which can be pretty solid as well. And it is just a really good one, like I said, again, to be able to put onto um, a red or a yellow. So it's got a kind of a wide variety of decks that it can be put in. All right, Blimpmon, we're gonna do a little shift. All right, Flamemon, really good. Really good, I like that one a lot. Digging for those hybrids, digging for tamers. Another Jack Raid, super good. Tactical Treat, Seals Dramon, Egg. Ooh, a Sir. A Sir. A Sir. A Cerberus Mon Werewolf Mode. Some of these names, I'm telling you, man, they trip me up. I fucking love them, though. This one's really good. Um, I do have a combo that I'm going to show you that Sam um, is playing here. I think it's an absolutely really cool little interaction. So I'm definitely going to either do a deck profile for you guys from that, or I'm going to try to get it onto camera. We did play a game, um, but unfortunately it did whiff. Um, so you guys are going to maybe see that gameplay. Um, but even if you do, like I said, you guys don't get to get it to see it in its full glory. So we're going to be doing either another gameplay or we're going to do a deck profile video. We get to see this guy, but he does have rush and then on play, delete one of your other uh, Cerberus mons to gain nine memory. This guy does cost nine memory. So you get to play him. It does blow up the other one, makes him free and then does have rush for 9,000. But there are some really cool interactions, like I said, that we are going to show off with it because I think it is a really cool and fun deck. Um, that I want to show you guys. And then this one, Orochimon. Orochimon. Um, I haven't found a place to play this yet. I've got a lot of them um, through packs. However, I just don't think he's that good yet. If you guys have something better, let me know down in the comment section below. But three to get on to a level four. When Digivolving, one of your Digimon gains piercing for the turn. So if it hits something, it then still gets to go through security, even if they happen to have a blocker. But again, there's just better stuff that I find in the five slot. Um, for a lot of my lists, so I don't end up playing that one. But again, if you guys know something, boom, you have to let me know. All right. Golmon, Grimmon, Cyclone Kick, Galgamon, mm, Lalamon. I love this little one. Let me tell you what, I rocked with this little thing last night at one of the tournaments. Being able to digi burst and bring this back to your hand, and then if you have enough memory, then to then play it onto like one of the new eggs that you pop with like Mimi and stuff. Oh, it is so much fun. Super good little one. Ooh, Bushy Agumon. Now this is an uncommon, it is our first one that we've pulled here. Man, camera, you are killing me today, bro. Let me tell you what, there we go. So this uh, Bushi is amazing. And I'm telling you like, absolutely amazing. You may look at that five cost for play and go, well, I don't know, that's a little high. No, this thing is nuts, nuts. Multiple decks play it. Rush with being a level three is absolutely crazy. There are a lot of things that sneak it into play and do extremely well. Full Moon Blaster, this is a really good one. Return one of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon to its owner's hand. If your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand, instead return one of your opponent's Digimon with five or lower um, to the bottom of their deck. And then you get to trash all the cards underneath it. So it's a really good card to get out of your security. Hits a lot of really good things. And then we got a Yoshino. Pretty sure that's how you do it. Yoshino? Yeah. Vegeta? Fujita? I botched it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On play, return one Digi Egg from your trash to the bottom of your Digi Egg deck, which is super nice. When Digivolving one of your opponent's Digimon into a Digimon uh, in your hand with Digi Burst, you may suspend this Tamer to reduce that cost by one. So if you're playing a Digi Burst onto one of your other stuff, go ahead and suspend her, and then it does cost one less, which is pretty nice, um, especially with Digi Burst stuff. Like um, if you are going for like the Hercules Kabuterimon, he does cost four to Digi Burst into. So unless your opponent does give you a good amount or you have a way to get more memory, you sometimes have to put yourself into the negative and then you don't really get to capitalize him on that turn, which is something you really want to do. So you do have to go with like Digisorption, which is what I use, or go with something like that to be able to reduce the cost of it so you can have another Tamer in play and you get to go ahead and go for a swing that turn because like I said, it is pretty, what the, it's backwards. Y'all see that? Fucking thing came in backwards. It was trying to tell me that this was a pack. Not an amazing pack, but a pack. All right. Yagumon, Skull Scorpion Mon. 
Another Flamemon. Ooh, Pedalmon. Now this one I really love. Pedalmon, super awesome. Uh, blocker for one at 5,000. Like, it's just really nice. Um, I run, is it a four of, I think? I believe in both of my yellow decks. Maybe a three of in one of them, but really good. Uh, Burning Grandmon, super awesome as well. Being able to digivolve on top of Tamers. Again, really nice. The being able to, oh, ho, ho, all right. So we just talked about that one, being able to digivolve on top of Tamers. But this is another one that I've been trying to get for my Ancient Gorurumon deck. Um, and it's because it does say, when digivolving from your hand on one of your blue Tamers, um, as if it is a level three Digimon when attacking, return one of your opponent's level three or lower Digimon to their hand. So really nice again in those rookie rushes for you to be able to kind of put this down or even if your opponent's just trying to build up something again, whatever they're flooding on threes, it's really nice to be able to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna actually put that one aside. That's for me. We got another Izzy, same as our box topper here, uh, memory tamer, and then reveal the top three. And as long as they are all black, then you get one memory. So he usually only costs three unless you're playing them in a hybrid list. Um, and then the next one, Kari coming in here. When a card is removed from your security stack, you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. Really cool, um, awesome stuff as well. I love tamers in this game. They add such a unique um, play to a lot of the stuff that I really, really enjoy. Get that pack out of here. What you trying to fight me? Ooh, a little Gabumon. Uh, final punch. I'm not going to go through the next part of that word, but the final punch here is really good. Again, you guys are going to see this in a video coming out here soon where Kevin is playing it in his blacklist, and whew, that thing is a big punch. Let me tell you what. All right, hey, look, a Cerberus Mon. Another little egg. We are getting to it, a Bakemon. Ooh, okay, a Ghostmon. Uh, when this card is trashed due to activating this Digimon's Digiburst, you get to return this card to its owner's hand. So again, it's one of those level threes that you get to return back. Um, I don't know why it's a rare. I'm guessing that's really cool for purple, but the green one is just a common, so that's interesting. <laughs> and then a Victory Greymon. Now this is something I wanted to write as a one of in my Greymon list. Um, but I haven't yet fully decided yet. It's a level six win Digivolving Digiburst 2. You get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 8,000 DP or less. So it's a really nice card to have around. Um, I've seen some people who just do a whole Victory Mon deck and I don't think that's a problem whatsoever. Like I said, being able to Digiburst and hit some for 8K is pretty good. Um, there's just a lot of things that are obviously over 8K that are gonna be a little more, it's backwards again, um, is interesting. So I just haven't decided yet if it's like a full send for me all. Oh. Y'all see that? Oh, y'all see that? Oh, okay. Let's get there. Another Cerberus one. We got a Fagumon. Interesting. But that one costs one. So this is also another one of those, like we talked about the fish uh, for blue. This one's red. I lied to you. I do know about this one. I run this one in a couple lists as well because it is three to play and then one to go into a level four. Super nice. We're getting there. A Groundmon. A lizard, a uh, egg, oh, we flipped too fast. I threw the rare. But we do have a Nidhogmon here, which is super amazing. All right, and then a War Grandma, which you gotta see, Nidhogmon. Now this is definitely a three of in my green list. Um, it saved my butt twice last night. Um, playing against Rookie Rush, or even when your opponent tries to get greedy and they have like a level five that they're trying to, you know, still work up to a level six and they try to go for like a free security swing, this does really punish them as well. So what'll happen is when Digivolving, you Digiburst four. So all four of the Digimon that'll be underneath it because you have to have a five, a four, a three, and a two, which is gonna be your egg. Um, you get rid of all of them. You just suspend all of your opponent's Digimon that are 5,000 DP or less. So anything that has 5,000 or less that is not suspended, so untapped, you get to tap it all down. And then for each tapped Digimon that your opponent has, you put them under the deck and then you trash all of the cards underneath it. So again, even if your opponent tries to get a little bit greedy, go for that free hit, or even if they have like their Ragnar Lord Mon that they go in for a hit for, and if they, I guess Rag has reboot built in, right? Either way, they go for like a really big, like a Chaos Mon or a Volder arm hit and they get that big hit uh, and they don't have reboot, you can go ahead and play uh, Nidhogmon who will also get it away. So it's a really good board wipe and something super nice to be able to just get it out of there. In those situations, when again against Rookie Rush, it completely just sends all of their uh, cards up to the bottom, which is super nice. Uh, amazing card. And like I said, he saved my butt twice last night. Uh, absolutely just amazing. Oh, got another good one in the back. Atomic Inferno, a Devimon. 
Unleomon, Purge Shine, Meteor Mon, hey, another Burning Gray Mon. Oh my lord. Yo, last pack we talked about came with these two. And we have another pack. Like, do are, are they paired? Buncho. Oh. Oh, y'all saw it. I saw it too. A Ghost Mon, a Beowulf Mon. Now, this is one that I also need for the Ancient Guru Mon deck. It's crazy how many cards come out of BT4 for that deck that I want to build. And maybe I'm just building like a suboptimal version. But there's a lot of things that I just really want. I love this guy because he's got jamming. And then while this Digimon's Digi Evolution cards include a Digimon with a hybrid in its form or a blue tamer, it can't be attacked, which is mainly what I wanted it for um, because I'm just planning on doing like a couple little bit of jam things in there and then working with a couple of the hybrids because these guys have hybrid in their name as well as the Lobomon and stuff. So I thought that'd be kind of a cool little thing. So um, yeah, if you guys know of a better version, let me know. And uh, if not, then I'm awesome and deck building is fun. But that's my second Beowulf Mon. So we definitely need two more of those still. Oh, we got something else in the back. Hitting good here. Aqua Viper, a Mon, another Pedomon. Gotta love those. A Gaomon, Squall Scorpion, a Dobermon, which looks exactly like a Doberman Pincher. You gotta love the names. You gotta love the art. A Crowmon. I mean, it's a Crow. It's a Digimon. All right. Uh, a Boo. I'm trying not to hit the last card. I keep throwing all the rares. So another uh, Chimeramon, and then, ooh, a Blastmon. You know, we keep talking about Kevin's deck. He's trying to take over my videos, everybody. Like, don't don't let him. But uh, he runs Blastmon in his black uh, deck. Again, you guys are going to see on a video here soon. This guy, I'm iffy about still because your opponent can choose to always have one of theirs defend. I guess I'll read it. Security attack plus one. When attacking, your opponent may choose one of their unsuspended Digimon. If they do, switch the target of that attack to the Digimon. So basically, you give all of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon blocker against this guy. However, he is really big. He does hit really hard. So I can understand uh, they are going to eventually run out of Digimon to block, uh, which is the goal. But again, I, I'm just not, I don't know. But if you can get the security stacks on him, like you guys will see it in Kevin's video. He can get in for a really, really good hit. All right, we're going to go for four in a row here. No, not four in a row. Gabu. Another punch. Phantom Mon. Dobermon. A Lobomon. See, we were just talking about it. I think you're going to have all my Lobomon set aside. But Lobomon, Air of Dragons. Ooh, Pollen Spray and the Zed Garurumon. All right, so Pollen Spray is a pretty fun one. Um, I prefer the flower cannon, I believe it's flower cannon, uh, over this one. They're different things as well, but reveal the top three cards of your deck, All add all Digimon with Digiburst among them to your hand, and then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order, and then suspend one of your opponent's Digimon for each card you added to your hand by this effect. So it's a really cool thing to be able to suspend some of your opponent's Digimon, you draw one or two off of it, and then be able to crush some of your opponent's Digimon. can be a really nice little effect. And then the Zed Digiburst 2, uh, return one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon to their owner's hand, and then trash all of the evolutions underneath it. Now, a lot of people I've seen playing it um, in some blue list because it is really nice to trash your opponent's stuff. However, um, it's just not my cup of tea. So, I haven't gone there yet. But we'll see. If there's something really cool out there, again, let me know. Jack Raid. Lalaman. Uh, we got a Boncho Leomon and a Hell's Gate. Both, uh, or sorry, Hell's Gate's a great card. Uh, so this one, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with level six or higher. Pretty solid. And then obviously security, add it to your hand. Really good card, a couple of decks. Um, play it with the Metal Guru Ramon promo from this way, from this set, um, as well as I believe Lilithmon. Um, so it's pretty good. And then this Boncho Leomon. Uh, interesting, we were talking about him last night. I haven't really found something that I like him in yet. Level three to get to a level six, which is fine. 11,000, which is fine. However, on deletion, suspend two of your opponent's Digimon. So interesting concept. Um, however, there's not like a really way for you to like sacrifice him yourself. So it happens on your opponent's turn, which does then tap them down. So maybe there's a way to like give him blocker or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll explore the meme one day. I'll try to find something for him, but I haven't ventured there yet. Oh, the back is shiny. The back is shiny. It's shiny. We're currently sitting at four, five, six, seven with one secret rare. So six and one secret rare. <coughs> so we're doing pretty good. Griffin, Neo, Tank, 
Agumon, Fish, Lotusmon, another Lobomon, we'll keep it aside. Air of Dragons, oh, it's a green. Full Moon a Blaster coming in here. Uh, I guess the only one would be, is it, um, mm, I know who it is. It's that one, yes. Lilamon, that's right. Um, yeah, this one is super good. I run it as a two of or a three of in my green deck. Um, it is a level five for three. Digi burst, you may suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. However, I mainly run it for its inheritable effect, which is when attacking, if you have a tamer in place, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So this is really nice if you do happen to have a Hercules Kabuterimon in. You can go ahead and swing. If you have that tamer, you tap them down and then you have piercing. So you get to save the Digi burst on your guy from someone else, which keeps more pressure on your opponent, um, as well as possibly being able to tap down two of their guys, throw in like another attacker somewhere. Really, really good one. I do love her. Like I said, I think I run her as a three of in my um, green list because I think she's amazing and she looks really cool. I said the art and the foiling in this game is incredible. Oh, oh, we have another one. Oh, we got another one. All right, this battery's about to die, so we're going to come back here in just a second. All righty, full battery, and we are back. Here we go. We had something fancy in the back. Piranamon. Okay, ooh, another Bushi. Gotta love it. So that's the uncommon. We're trying to like gently slide. Ooh, a Dark Dramon. Now this guy we're gonna talk about too in a separate video as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot to come with this guy. Um, something really fun stuff. But Rush and then on play, which means you have to play him for 13, which, hold on, there's gonna be a little trick here. Return to five Digimon cards with D Brigade in their types from your trash to the top of your deck in any order. And for each card you return, so you get to gain two memories. So if you do bring back all five, or five, then you do get 10 memories. So this guy is only going to cost you three. So it is a really fun little thing. Uh, the way that you have to do the memories, I guess, different. But um, it is a really fun, really, really, really fun to play this guy. And then he has the Rush, so he's a finisher for sure in the D Brigade decks. We're gonna talk about him uh, separately because there is some things that I specifically wanna talk about with this guy in a deck list. And and then finally, whoo, ooh, a Mirage Gaugamon. I forgot he's in this wave, or in this set. I keep saying wave, I'm sorry, set. I like this guy a lot. Um, he is, uh, when did you evolve in game one memory for every four cards in your opponent's hand, so really nice. You go ahead and did you evolve this guy. Even if they have four, then he only costs three to did you evolve, which I think is nice. And then again, if they have eight, then he only costs two, and you can really get the ball rolling with this guy. And then on your turn, this Digimon is unblockable. So it is really nice, nice little finisher. You rush down your opponent early on and then put this guy down and kind of go for that final swing or hopefully, you know, put them away the next turn after that. So he's a really good guy, like him a lot. We're doing well on the SRs in this. This box yielded two things that I really liked. I don't know what's going on back there. I think it's just a basic rare. All right, Labramon, Leo, Hippo, Fugamon, Cerberusmon, Golmon, Boncho, Lotusmon, another Dark Dramon, and a Blinding Ray. Now, this card's really nice. I run it as a three of in uh, one of my yellow lists just because like I run out of my security pretty quick in it. And then this one is uh, trash the top card of your security stack and then gain two memory. So you do trash it so it instantly goes away. Obviously it doesn't count as proccing or anything and then you get to gain two memory. However, if you don't have any cards in your security stack, this still goes off. That is one thing to know and probably one of the best reasons why I play it is because I wait till the end of the game and I have that basically last turn when my opponent takes all my security out or I'm hitting for that last war Greymon, taking my own security card and then this being able to give me two and if you have two in hand, it gives you four. You have three in hand, it gives you six, blah, 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 blah. So it is a really nice card to kind to have getting down to our last three packs hope you guys have been enjoying it i'm gonna do the separate box as a separate video so if you guys are oh we got a fancy that looks like an alt art in the back of that mm, shiny gorgeous but i hope you guys are enjoying the video and the box opening if you guys are obviously a like would be greatly appreciated hope you guys enjoy box openings and i hope i don't bore you to death with my talking and if i do then i Apologize, not apologize, but these are a lot of fun. Um, like I said, then come back to the channel later on. Ooh, okay, so we got a blinding here, so we're gonna see if we get one of the blue dudes, because then theory confirmed. Okay, let's see. Oh, I was like thinking it was gonna work, but yeah, come back to the channel later on. Obviously, make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys get access to all of our Digimon content, and whoosh, oh, 
the ancient Goruru Mon. So we got two secret rares in this box. That is awesome. And this one is really fancy looking. I have the alt art version of it. Um, I don't think I have any of these regular versions of it. It's not focusing. You're killing me, Smalls. There we go. I also need to put it in the frame. Boom. So super, super awesome. I love this guy. Like I said, I am going to go into a different uh, version for both the red and the blue for each Digimon card and Digimon's evolution cards with Greymon in its name other than blah, 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 uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. You get security attack plus one, which is super nice. And then on deletion, you may play one red level four or lower Digimon card from your hand with hybrid um, or as sorry, from its form into play without paying its memory cost. So essentially, if this guy was underneath me, funny, we got him in the same pack, um, then what will happen is if this goes down, this guy gets to pop out for free. So you don't lose a lot of tempo, you just lose a little bit of tempo. It is a really cool thing, and then obviously more of those gray mons that you can stack underneath here, then you would have that security attack plus one. So you can get in for really big security swings, which is super awesome, and like I said, he's gonna be, I can't believe we got two of the secret rares in one box. I'm just gonna put that out there. That's insane, right? Right? That's crazy. I think that's just a thumbnail by itself. But this one is gonna be, uh, you may unsuspend up to two of your Digimon with Garurumon in their names or hybrid in their forms. And then one deleted, you may play one one blue level four or lower Digimon card from its form without paying its memory cost. So the same in the bottom half. However, that top half is gonna be a little bit different. So super awesome. I can't believe, yeah, we pulled two secret rares. I don't think I've ever done that before or paid enough attention, but that's absolutely amazing. All right, we gonna hit any more? We have one more one more pack after this one. So uh, we're gonna go a little bit faster. We're just gonna go to the last two here. Oh, another Bushi in there though. Love that. Another Shine Greymon and then a Commandramon. So this is one of the D Brigade's best cards in my opinion. It's freaking phenomenal. And I think it just wants to just keep focusing behind me. But this one is super, super awesome. Uh, it is a level three, uh, zero to play, three to hard play, which is nice. And then on deletion reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Commander Mon among them without paying its cost. Place the remaining on the bottom in any order. And there's a lot of Commander Mons that are out there. So you have a lot of chances of really getting a nice hit out of this. And then get that box out of here. This is the last pack. Are we gonna hit any better than what we've already gone for? We've done real well looking at what we got, but I'd love to end it on a super rare, and it looks like we're not gonna get so lucky, but we did get two secret rares, which is incredible. So again, we're just gonna fly to the back on those. War, Growlmon, and another. I think we started with these two. Hold on. No, I think, I think we did. I think we started with those two and we ended with those two. That's incredible. I hope you guys did enjoy the box opening. And like I said, obviously the double secret rare box is amazing. If you guys did enjoy, obviously a like would be appreciated. Make sure you guys go watch the second box opening right after this and I'll catch you guys in the next one.